Hi there and welcome back to the channel. So it's been a minute since I made a video but I've been trying to be productive as far as like you know my work life and uh, working on the song. But uh, this is uh, kind of the moment of truth day to me you know when you come in with the lyrics and you're gonna see uh, you know what the what the vocal arrangements really gonna sound like once you lay it down on your zoom. It's um, you know kind of a moment of truth. Uh, can be discouraging I have to admit coming in today I was a little discouraged um, my voice is kind of shot because I inhaled a bunch of pollen mowing the yard and uh, I don't know just kind of burned out uh, from trying to sing it and uh, but I feel like as I worked my way through it I've been here a couple hours now it's, uh, it's like 10 10 10 Eastern time on Friday evening um, I've begun to feel better about it like okay don't panic don't panic everything's fine your song is not, you know, terrible, uh, but you get those fears, you know, and especially when you're trying to do something tricky, like these songs to me are different from what I'm used to doing, you know, like I'm used to writing 4-4, four, four, like basic punk rock, you know, tunes, like straight up rock tunes, uh, where there's, and I wasn't a very good guitar player and never had much, you know, uh, musical training, so everything was very basic and simple, very 4-4. Four, four. And as I've continued to play guitar and expose myself to other styles, uh, you know, move move time signatures around, it's uh, everything's just different. And so I've had to kind of adjust to it, you know, and try to figure out the best way to sing to it, the best way to uh, you know do my thing and expand myself as an artist. So this one's been challenging, and I'm gonna ha I think I'm gonna sing it high because I don't know if you remember the riff or not, but it's like. So it's pretty high up there. Now I can sing it low. I could sing it like, there's a riot going on in my head, y'all. But it's just not as exciting as kind of doing the uh, Robert Plant thing where it's like, there's a riot going on. But when you get up high like that, it can get shrieky and, you know, unpleasant. So the, uh, the, the challenge is going to be to sing it, you know, really high and really well. So that'll paint myself in a corner whenever I try to do it live. But um, I think that's what's going to make it more exciting. Now, I've also considered doing like a dual vocal where you have like um, the regular low one mixed with a high one at the same time. So it's like either the high one would be dominant and the low would be harmony or the low would be dominant, high would be harmony or do like a dual vocal thing, which can be interesting where you sort of split it out to one side. And I got that idea. Um, from Neil Young's uh, Zuma album, uh, Stupid Girl, the song Stupid Girl. He, he sings one line low, one line high, and it's like split out. Really kind of cool. But even in that song, the first verse, I can't remember if he sings it high or if he sings it low. Um, so that's a possibility. You could sing it low one time, then come in with the high one with the harm as a harmony. I don't know. I'll just see what happens once I, once I get it down. The last couple of times I was doing it, the high one was working. At first I was panicking, like, uh, this just doesn't sound good and it's just gonna, people will think it sucks. Um, but I think that uh, I, I kind of worked it up by just continuing to, you know, work on it. Um, the other thing is that the, the original idea of the song was to play the riff one time. So that would have been played you know, on its own, and then the next time through, add a vocal. Well, it just ended up being really short, and it felt like uh, there was a lot of like, I don't know, you can just tell. In theory, that seemed fine when I was sitting alone. As soon as I put it on the Zoom and listened to the arrangement, it just felt like the song was like just missing something. So it started feeling more natural to just sing on everything. So as soon as the song starts, it's like one, two, three, there's a riot going on. You just write on it, you know, a vocal and a uh, a riff married together, kicking off the track. Um, so that doubled the lyrics on the three verses. So I've got the three verses, the three choruses, and then two times we do a second chorus. And on the first time of the second chorus, half of it is a solo. And then the second chorus, the second second chorus, I'll just be riffing and singing all the way through. So the first time on the second chorus, only singing half of it, 
playing out some kind of you know musical interlude there, and then going back to the verse, and then a chorus, and then the second chorus again, and this time I'll sing it all the way through, two times, you know, dual. And then you can have stuff underneath guitar-wise going off the whole time because you really want to make that last, you know, minute to 30, 30 seconds to a minute, you know, like the last round, the last chorus, or like maybe even the last verse into the chorus be a little hotter, a little louder, a little more exciting and with more stuff going on. You know, it's just like build it up, build it up, build it up until the, until the climax. So um, I like to keep that as a policy. Uh, and then as far as the lyrics go, uh, the whole thing started off with this thing popping in my head like a Sly and Family Stone thing. It was like, there's a riot going on in my head, y'all. So, there's a riot going on in my head, y'all. There's a riot going on. It's gonna go on, no, no, no. So that was the original first verse. Now I've added this. There's a light. Sorry. There's a light that's coming on in my head, y'all. There's a light that's coming on. It's gonna go on and on and on and on. And then the uh, the chorus was excited. Check them. Dun, ticka, ticka, dun, ticka, t excite me. And then exciter, you excite me. Okay, then second verse. There's a quiet coming on. There's a quiet coming on in my head, y'all. There's a quiet coming on. It's gonna come on. It's gonna roll on and on and on. And I can change that up. Come on, roll on, go on, whatever. Um, whenever you get that feel, and that's what you have to. It almost takes a takes a while to sing it before you start getting that feel of when to say this and when to say that. You know, um, that's why I like to have these songs rolling for a while before I record them. But what are you gonna do? Um, so there's a quiet coming on in my head, y'all. There's a quiet coming on. It's gonna roll on and on and on. There's a darkness. So we had light up here, now we're going to go dark. There's a darkness that's coming on in my head, y'all. There's a darkness coming on. It's going to roll on and on and on and on. So it's not a lot of words. It's just like a feel, a phrasing feel. Okay, then Then once again, we'll do the chorus. Exciter, excite me. Exciter, you excite me. Now, here is the fun part for me. My favorite part of the song is when we go into the second chorus. So it's like the uh, these are the octave chords. So it's like... And then on another track, another uh, another vocal track, as I'm singing that, I'll be like, So that'll be going, as the other one's going, there'll be like some overlap. It's like, by the by, and then excited. You know, it'll just sort of overlap it. Uh, and that's kind of fun. Uh, somebody live uh, can be singing that, you know. Uh, give it an extra feel. So, oh, and then we go back. So we do that. That's the second chorus. Uh, and then, which, we sing one time through. And then the second time through will be like soloing type stuff. Like a musical interlude. Then, after that ends, come back to the original riff. And then we're... There, oh, I can't even read my own writing. There's a, oh, okay. There's a war that's going on in my head, y'all. There's a war that's going on. It's going to go on and on and on and on. There's a war that's going on from my mind, y'all. There's a war that's going on. It's going to go on and on and on and on. I, I had been ex uh, inspired to use the phrase lie of the mind. There's a lie that's going on in my mind, y'all. Uh, because of the play uh, Lie of the Mind by Sam Shepard. Uh, really used to love his plays, like reading them. God, they're great. All right, so uh, there's a war that's going on in my head, y'all. There's a war that's going on. It's going to go on and on and on and on. There's a war that's going on from my mind, y'all. There's a war that's going on. It's going to go on and on and on. So the character is like, you know, doing this sort of manic thing, going back and forth between up and down. Um, and trying to, you know, fight it. All right, which most rockers, most of us musicians do that. You know, we're hot and cold, trying to get stuff going. So my plan is to do this vocal, do that guitar. Once the vocal feels good, I'll be doing it on camera, of course. 
once that feels good, I'll be switching back to guitar to try to get that little solo bit that's in the unison chords. I mean the unison chords, the octave chords in that second chorus. Then, once this song is wrapped, I'm probably going to re-record my song, um, Are You Ready?, which is like the first song I was going to put on the record. Maybe even the title of the record, I don't know, it just has that feel. Um, but it's the only song, all the other songs, I'm happy with them because they're more recent. That was the first one I recorded when I first started this second album. And um, man, it just does not sound like the rest of them. It just, it, it's like you push and push and it just falls apart on you. So I'm really tempted to re-record it. I, it would be a really easy to do uh, as far as the song itself. It's not a challenging song to play. Uh, like I said, it's one of the, before I started getting into all this strat stuff and six eight time and trying to you know do riff riffy stuff. It's more like what I used to do. Um, so it would be easy to churn it out, and it would buy me some time to get those other two songs. So I can keep making videos, keep being productive. You know, keep doing, keep learning, and make that the record better by improving that song. But I could also buy some time uh, while I try to come up with these last two tracks. Because once I get these last two songs, the album is done, and I really want to finish it, do something with it, get it out there, and uh, you know, make some stuff happen. So, all right. Hopefully, everybody's doing great with uh, all their projects, their songwriting on the Zoom the post-production, the pre, you know, whatever it is. And if there's anything I can do to help, please don't hesitate. I really enjoy uh, helping people make the most of this thing. And uh, just, you know, it's satisfying to help other people. So don't ever uh, hesitate to reach out. It's, it, that's my thing to do on the channel. All right, next time.